Hi, this is Kathy Ciceri, and I'd like to show you a cute little robotic cat design that uses the Chibitronic animating color changing circuit stickers to make the cat's eyes change color when you press the paw up against its chest. You can see that the conductive tape, in this case the fabric tape, is part of the design. And it also uses a magnet to hold the battery in place. So what you need for this project is a paper template. You can print out on cardstock any color you like. Some of the Chibitronic fabric conductive tape, the color changing circuit stickers, a 2032 battery. And for the magnet, you can buy some sheet magnet. I actually took a refrigerator magnet and just cut it into the size I needed, which is about one inch square. And I peeled the paper off and that just left the glue and that's what I'm going to stick on. So let me show you how to make it. First thing you're going to do is with your template all cut out, you're going to fold it up along those dotted lines. You fold up the tail, make a nice crease, and fold up the arm, the paw. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is take your magnetic sheet and stick it right here on the tail where it shows. And you'll see that this circuit we're going to make goes in a U. We're going to do that right over the magnet. So that's sticking right on there. And I'm going to take a piece of the conductive tape. So first we're going to make the negative side of the circuit. It goes from here, which is the bottom of the circuit stickers, the negative side, and comes down along here. Like I said, it makes kind of a U-turn here and comes back. This is just decorative. It can be just a single line if that's easier, but I liked making a nice little design with that tape. So I'm going to start laying the tape. The first thing I do is I peel the tape off the backing, bend the backing down, and then I stick this where I want to start and just kind of pull the backing off as I go along. So there's a lot of corners on this one as part of the design. For my corners, I fold it in the opposite direction of where I want to go, press it down, and then go in the direction I do want to go in. It makes a nice little sharp corner there. And just keep going along and doing that. Okay, so now I've gotten up to the magnet. I'm actually going to pause here. I'm going to take a bone folder, and you can just use the handle of your scissors or the back of a spoon and just press everything down and make it as tight and secure as possible. Get out any wrinkles. There we go. Make every fold as sharp as you can. So Pull it as far as it's supposed to go, which is right about there, and snip it off. Now the positive trace is in three parts. There's one part that goes from where the positive side of the battery is going to go to here. Then there's a little gap. This is our on-off switch. The rest of the positive part of the circuit comes around here to the top of the circuit stickers. And then there's going to be a little patch here that will close our circuit. So let's do this part first. Start with another little piece of tape. Good. 
snip it off there. And press that down again. So I've left that gap and I'm going to continue with a separate piece of tape the rest of that oops, positive side of the circuit. I have to leave a little gap in between the positive and negative trace where the stickers themselves are going to go and the stickers will bridge that gap. Okay, so to make our little bridge here, I will just cut a few pieces of conductive tape. And I'm going to lay them and overlap, overlap them a little bit. So I'll put one here. And just overlap this a little bit. So that basically we're making one big conductive pad that oops, can bridge that gap and carry the current over it. And then I'm going to take one longer piece and to make sure that all these pieces are connected, I'm going to put one longer piece right across them all. I'm going to just make a little decorative piece so our robot cat has a nice metallic nose. I'll start this way. This actually does not constitute part of the circuit. It's just purely decorative. But it can touch the negative side of the circuit without causing any problems. And the very last thing I'm going to do with the conductive tape is I'm going to make a loop that will hold the battery on. So I need another little piece. I usually cut a piece. It's about two inches long. Peel it off the backing. And then I make a loop with the sticky side out. And then I'm going to take the positive side of the battery and stick that right on there. Okay, so I think our whole circuit's made, and the last part is to get some circuit stickers. Look for that positive marking, and make sure that is touching the positive side of the circuit. Okay, here's a moment of truth. I'm going to bend the tail over, and that magnet snaps that part of the circuit right to the battery and here is our on off switch and we have a circuit so there you go and as i said you can take some more of that magnetic sheet and put it on the back and have your own refrigerator magnet that lights up when you play with the kitty's paw. You can even give the kitty some toes here. And there you have it.